video Rakhu Diary from Mom to Son. In today's video, we're gonna make the most delicious and tasty mutton shakudi. It's shakudi, not executi or not zakudi, but it is shakudi. So let's make some. For more easy and delicious recipes, I'm asking you only one thing: that subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications. And stay tuned for more updates. Thank you. So today we are going to make the most delicious mutton shakudi. And for that, I have taken here one kilo mutton which I have nicely cut into one inch pieces and it's already cleaned and kept. For the marination, we are using one pod of garlic, about two inch of ginger sliced. I have taken here three chilies, you can add four but these are very spicy so I have just taken three and a few sprinks of green coriander. Let's get the marinade ready. Here I have got the chilies. Let's cut them. Then we are going to chop in the green coriander. Roughly. And in goes all this in the mixer. Now let's grind this to a smooth paste. As you can see it is nicely done. Okay, now the masala is already ground. Let's do the marination. I have taken here salt according to taste. The masala which is already ground. And we are going to add in the juice of one lime in this. So let's add in one lime, full lime. I have taken here two pieces. And then with your hands nicely mix all this together so that all the flavors get mixed up well in the mutton and now you are going to keep this to marinate for at least about 20 to 30 minutes here so let's keep this aside and let's start with the masala and now cover this and let it marinate for half an hour now for the masala, I have taken here four local chilies. It's a kankon variety. You can use any local chili. Four bedki chilies. I have taken two tablespoons of coriander seeds, two pieces of cinnamon, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, one fourth teaspoon of pepper or about 15 corns of pepper, about seven cloves, five pieces of elaichi green and one half a teaspoon of methi that is fenugreek seeds and a small piece of nutmeg. nutmeg and we are also going to add in about one tablespoon of couscous or poppy seeds and I have here one coconut grated so all this will go in the masala making then we are going to also add in three tomatoes, three onions, which we will tell you as the process begins. So let's start with the masala first. Now let's start by roasting the masala. I've taken here a pan in which I'm going to add about two tablespoons of oil. Let's heat this for some time and then goes in our masala the dry masala i'm going to add in the chilies the coriander seeds all this except the puppy seeds the rest of the masala goes in it let's fry this till you get a nice aroma coming out from the spices now this will just take about 30 seconds don't over fry it it has to only release the aroma out you can see it's getting nicely dried and use low flame here now see this is already you can see the chilies have already popped up and the masala is almost fluffed up here now it's time to add in the coconut and the poppy seeds now we are going to fry this till you find the coconut changing color so let this till the coconut becomes nice and golden. Few moments later. Now you can see the masala is nicely golden and done. So now put off the flame and keep it to cool. 
Let it cool thoroughly before you grind it. Now take three onions and we're gonna slice them finely. So let's peel them. And now let's take my kurkurit knife and slice them very fine. Let's go. See, like this, how thin and how nicely I've done. Now let's grind the masala. This masala what we roasted, let's grind it. And now as you can see the masala, look at this, looks so good. Wow. In the meanwhile, let's chop the tomatoes finely. Look at the Mr. Kurkuri style of cutting. Look at this. Can you do like this? If you can, subscribe. If you can't, like the video. If you cannot, follow me on Instagram. Now let's start with the cooking process. Now here I've taken a big pan in which I'm going to add about two tablespoons of oil and the sliced onions goes first. Now if you have curry patali, that is the curry leaves, you can add about four sprigs of curry leaves to give added flavor. I don't have, so I have not added. Now fry this onion till it is nice and golden. To make the onion fry faster, you have to add in about half a teaspoon of salt. This will hasten the process and your onion will be done a little bit more quicker. And you can see the onion is nicely frying. Now here add in about half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and fry this well. If you want little spicy, you can add about half a teaspoon of chili powder. Those who like very spicy. But I'm not adding because we are okay with what we are preparing so far. Okay, you can see the onion has nicely turned soft and golden. Now it's time to add in the mutton, which we have marinated in green masala. So add in and go on stirring it nicely. Stir this nicely. Hold it with a pan and just be very careful that you stir it on a high flame here. Keep the flame high and let this be stirred for at least about 5 minutes so that you can get it nicely cooked on a high flame too. Now remember this is a very step, very important step in cooking that you are going on stirring it on high flame. So that the mutton changes its color and the green masala which we have added also will be properly cooked so that you don't have any raw smell coming later. So do this at least for about 5 to 6 minutes and you can see the mutton is already started changing its color. We have already cooked it for about 5 to 6 minutes and now let's add the tomatoes. adding the tomatoes you have to go on stirring this again till you see the tomatoes are cooked and you see oil releasing out around the sides that means this is a long process so this will take about another 10 minutes till the tomatoes become nice and mushy and everything gets cooked and you see a nice light gravy of oil coming around the dish so let's go on a little longer than a few minutes later nicely dried up here and you can see the oil is releasing around the side the tomato is totally become mushy and almost disappeared now is the time to add in hot water now i'm going to add here three cups of hot water and let us cook this mutton because mutton takes more time to cook so let it cook now for at least about 30 to 40 minutes now depend on how soft your mutton is so let this cook so close the lid and let's wait till our mutton becomes soft few moments later it's already been 35 minutes and now let's open it up and check as you can see the mutton is sizzling it's okay become. this is so nicely done it's become nice and tender and now it's time to add in the ground masala which we have so here goes 
add a little water to make the masala a little bit thinner. Just the masala water. We don't want to make it too thin and stir it gently. And now close the lid and cook this for another 5 to 10 minutes. Few moments later. Now let's open up and check and let's go in for the taste. Now stir it once again nicely. Take a little gravy in your hands, pull it and try and taste it. Wow, it's perfect. I think it requires a little salt. Not too much, very little. That's it. Give one last stir. And finally, we are going to garnish it with green coriander and our mutton shakuti is ready to enjoy. And as you can see, your mutton shakuti is now ready. Oh my God, look at this guys. It looks so good. So, and I'm going to taste it and tell you how it is. So, aha, wait, so try the recipe quick. Okay, try it now. Share the video, please share the video. Subscribe. That's the main thing. Subscribe, like. And follow me on Instagram, Mr. Kurkuri. The link is in the description. And yeah, you got to drool on this and I'm going to taste it now. So, yep. Yeah. Oh my God. Taste kare amare. Let me take one more for the video's sake. Make peace gear. Yep. And now I have taken, as you can see, I have taken poi or podi. You can take shakuti and barabar chapati. Or rice or omelette, rose omelette. And now I'm gonna taste <laughs> the best part. Hmm. Wow, wow. Sarke flavors are blast that one of the now I'm gonna take the mutton and hunch them. Hmm. Sarge soft. I'm going to eat only the mutton and show you. And this is the mutton. So I'm going to soft down. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Too good. Try it now. You have so many good recipes. So many good bloggers. So many good YouTubers. Do one thing. Subscribe. Do the bell notification. And follow on Instagram. Par, Masterclass DR7. Mr. Kurkurit. And I'm going to keep hogging. And stay tuned for the bloopers. Go and watch the bloopers and subscribe. Thank you. Well, come back to another for more. For more delicious recipes like this and uh, and turn on bell notifications and stay tuned. Welcome back. I'm going to sound get delicious and tasty shakudi. It is shakudi, not executi or zakudi. So Korea mutton shakudi. So, you have video so that I am going to talk about this. I am Mr. Kurkirit. So, I am going to talk video. So with that, you can subscribe and bell notification on. And follow me on Instagram, Masterclass. Thank you.